I think about little me, you know, like especially 15, 6 year old me in front of a microphone. Mm -hmm. And like, um, just, I, I love to just kind of tell her like, like you, you can live mm -hmm. like you are loved. Like there's so much freedom. There's so much you don't have to um, go through or be part of if you just knew how loved you were. You've been on a journey. <laughs> and what I think stands out to me about you, Rachel, is that you feel, we haven't had a ton of conversations, yeah. but you feel very open-handed mm. with your career. Like, it's mm -hmm. not, I, I think when we talk about you coming back in, it is it is fresh because yeah. there's fresh eyes and there's different values and different things to hold in your life. And you have this fullness mm -hmm. of family now that you didn't have yes. before. Yep. <laughs> being a mom, being a wife, a soccer coach. <laughs> um, that definitely is a soccer such a fan. loose term. Yeah. Yes, I am a soccer fan. Yeah. But, and, and your ministry, working with people here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. um, and music is a part of that. But you are multi-dimensional and mm. there's not this sense or this feeling from you of this striving like mm. this has got to be it oh my gosh um the songs seem to come from a very organic place of you living life like we all do yeah in and out of our communities and homes and there's just a sense of rest Ugh, you nailed it I mean that you nailed the goal mm. <laughs> that is the goal yeah you know and it's daily though it's daily to keep it in that place yeah and it's so funny on my way down here, mm -hmm. I was like, I remember just like thinking about going to radio interviews when I was 15, 16 and yeah. how nervous I was mm. about doing it right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I just felt like God was like, there's no such thing as doing it right. Mm. Just do it with me. Yeah. And, and I, I feel like that has been the reason why. When I, when I left, when I, so I, I, you know, I did, I did this mm -hmm. hardcore from the, when I, time I was 14 to about 21. Yeah. And then I left, I had no plan for when I was coming back. But when I left, I was like, I have to be able to let this go. Mm -hmm. Um, because this is my whole identity yeah. right now. I, everything is wrapped up in it. Everything is just this one big music, Jesus, people clump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's not only that, it's like now that I am doing it again, I'm still letting it go, mm. you know? And I think that that is the, that those are the words that God has given me to stay in that place yeah. is to be able to even, even in the, like, this is the craziest week. Like we're rehearsing for a tour. We're yes. all, uh, I've no childcare. <laughs> I'm piecing all the childcare together, Blessed. all this stuff, okay. all this stuff, but, and it's working and it's great, yeah. but it's also, I'm also like, constantly letting it go and mm. opening the hands like you said and yeah. um and that has been yeah that's been like the 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 survival the theme that's how I stay close to God mm -hmm. is because I'm like this is scary you know letting yeah. anything go is scary yeah um but it's also we're freedom you know you feel free mm -hmm. like you're yeah there's trust and there's freedom and I don't know. Uh, you just when you said that, I was like, gosh, that's those were my thoughts on my way down mm. here today. Well, you're, you're talking to somebody that I don't even know how to do radio. So I do things <laughs> wrong all the time. I don't even know the rules you're I'm breaking because I'm so new that I'm like, I don't know how to do radio interviews, but I you're love talking with people. Yes. You're so and it. that's that's the thing for all of us. Like our identity is not in the things that we do. Mm -hmm. It's just like, Lord, you could take this tomorrow. Yes. You could take my my ability to walk, you could take my ability to speak yes. in accidents or whatever. Yeah. And to know that in all of that, God is constant and God yes. is good and he is enough. Right. Sometimes it's like, Lord, like, let me do this wrong. <laughs> yes. You know, because then maybe somebody will be like, oh, okay, it's okay to be wrong or to yeah. be um, clumsy or like not have great answers. Yeah. Or, like, I think, again, he he wants us to do this with him and with each other. Like, mm -hmm. he, we are all just, like, like tripping over ourselves and over yeah. each other. And I, the the best, the, all he wants is for his children to be together. Yep. You know, his kids to be together. And 
Um, yeah. And so why not, you know, just again, like just wing it, it. like when it's too perfect, <laughs> it's too yeah. perfect. No, it's no, not. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's too hard. You talk about being together and that seems to be a, a really not just a theme in your life, but what you really practice mm-hmm. doing life together with fellow musicians, um, with those in your community that are serving the community together. Yeah. Um, in a world that can feel really isolated and you see all the time headlines of people just being like, I'm isolated, I'm lonely. Yeah. Was it an intentional thing mm. for you to do this life more enmeshed or did it just evolve and happen? Yeah, I feel like it was a little bit of both. Yeah. Um, my older brother, he um, he started a, a nonprofit called People Loving Nashville. Yeah. We, we feed people every Monday. Um, we take food out to uh, downtown Nashville and yeah. um, it started with 10 to 15 um, people that we were meeting up with downtown and yeah. then it turned into, uh, we feed about 400 people now mm. um, every month. Wow. What have you experienced yeah. of God because of your time? There, there's, there's such a culture that it, it, it's actually, there is, there's an amazing book about street culture yeah. and about the language used, yeah. like about how um, a lot of people like to, it's hard to get off the street because Mm -hmm. you meet your family, your new family and you're surrounded by them. So when, when housing comes along, it's, it's actually really difficult because you're leaving your community and Mm -hmm. your family. And a lot of people call each other, their aunts, uncles, cousins, Mm -hmm. brothers, mothers and fathers um, that aren't their biological family, but that, but that is part of street culture where people um, have chosen each other as their chosen family and then you're, and then there's this whole, you know, there's this, there's the, there's a whole process to like getting off the street. And mm-hmm. part of it is like leaving your people. And I, I don't even know if I could do that, yeah. you know, yeah. like, um, so I, I think what, when, to answer your question of like, what I've learned is just that we, we are all like, we all have really deep layered, beautiful stories. Mm. I heard uh, one of my like favorite people in the world is um, Father Greg Boyle. Mm -hmm. He runs um, Homeboy Industries in In LA. LA. Yes, yes. And he says, um, because I think a lot of times we'll use the words like, um, you know, uh, well, they made a choice. Mm -hmm. And and he says, well, not all choices were made equal. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. they didn't have some of the choices that we had. Some of their choices were bad or bad or worse, you know. And um, so it's just, yeah, I think for me and, and that that applies to every single person. Like mm. I might have a little road rage. <laughs> Tell me everything. Rachel, Lamp, deep confessionals here at Caleb. Go, you know, and <laughs> um, um, hold on. Did you drive here today? I did. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't drive her. <laughs> OK. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I met I meet people. <laughs> OK, maybe that was intentional. All right. Tell me about your road rage. I okay. I'm not from here. I I don't I think, give excuses. I, you got it. <laughs> when, you, when you come to a stop sign, yes, you just go in the order that you're supposed to go. I, I there's we're not gonna shoo people in like that. We're there before you. Just okay. If it's your turn, just go. Just go. Right. Right. Uh huh. <sighs> I mean, I'm I'm kind of rehearsing the book in my head right now. Of like, there is a way to do it, but right. go ahead. I think it's yeah, the yeah. right. If, if you, go if to you the, don't know, you go to the right. Oh, yeah, yeah. If yeah. the person on the right, yeah, yeah. Okay, for you. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay. But here it's I am not being just rule that. book lady. It's ladies. all the shooing in. Well, it's you don't stop in the middle of the interstate to sh- to let somebody in because you're. Oh no! Yes, you gotta go. You're making it more of a danger. Yes, yes. The okay. Flow. It's all about the flow. All about. Yeah. The flow. You merged into the flow, people. <laughs> this is the biggest. I tangent. am with you right now. <laughs> I'm on a tangent. I'm trying so hard to hold on to where we started. Okay. okay. So I have, no I have road idea. rage. Yeah. And because, and okay, it's not really that bad. It's more of just like a funny thing. Internally. Um, yeah. Ha, hallelujah. Um, so because of that though, I, it's a perfect opportunity for me to be like, Hey, actually maybe that person's in a really big hurry mm-hmm. or maybe that person has had some trauma behind driving mm-hmm. and needs to go slow. And like, so, you know, it, it's, it's just this constant practice of like, everybody's got, there's so much nuance. There's so much, there's so much story in the world. Yes. And, and we just can't ever like try to know that or think that we know everybody's yeah. story. I don't want you to be on like shame Island by yourself about your road rage. So <laughs> I will tell you about my sauna rage because Ooh. this last weekend, <laughs> yeah, I had friends with me and we went into the sauna okay. and we were having a private conversation like low. We weren't like <laughs> loud with everybody else. And this one lady goes, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I was listening to your conversation Ruh-roh. and then proceeded <laughs> 
which fine, join the conversation. Like that's fine. Okay. But she then be, began to pitch something for 27 stinking minutes where I was no. like, noi, Hey noi, noi, Linda, noi. I don't know what her name was, but I was like, listen. <laughs> and it was the same kind of thing where I left there and I was just so ugh in my head, yeah. like, ugh, wish she wasn't in there. And then I thought, mm. you know, here I am with my two good friends that just flew in from out of town to yep. come visit. Yep. And I'm so blessed to have those friends. Yes. And maybe sweet Linda that mm -hmm. talks too much and can't like pick up social cues doesn't have friends like that. Yeah. And maybe Lori, settle down. Linda. Like give her 27 <laughs> minutes because she and wanted a she connection. And yeah. And maybe that was like her 27 yeah. minutes of connection that whole day. And it's like those moments where God just kind of goes, hey, pff, take a beat. Lo. Oh my gosh. Like oh. give some grace. Oh my so, gosh. Well, I get that. And this reminds me of your post the other day. Oh, you got me so good. I I commented on it. I said, mic drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, you you started it by saying I was talking to a friend yeah. in the mirror. Or no, not in the mirror. I was talking to a friend. And yeah. sometimes she doesn't act like a Christian. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, she's calling somebody out. Right? I wasn't going to do names. I know. It was amazing. And then you said, and then you said you were looking in the mirror. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Yes. That is every day i'm so thankful that you did that that's every that's day awesome. that's i need so jesus good for all of us my heart is nasty <laughs> it is it yeah, is we got, some, we got some dirt like on this side of heaven we will need jesus yes and we will need reminders mm -hmm. how forgetful we are yeah. um and so the songs i keep I, I say it all the time when i play one of your songs mm. it's a, it's just this reminder it's like this little three minute packaged gift <laughs> to be reminded of God's plans and God's love that is greater than my love mm. and God's peace. And so um, we need that. Yeah. Like, cause we, man, we're just, we're a faulty people that kind of keep going back to our flesh and our selfishness. Yeah. And it's like, whew, man, that's the way of Jesus looks so different. And so yes. those guide rails along the way to kind of be like, oh, yeah, totally. That's what your songs provide. Oh, I love that. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. And I'm, and, and that's it. I think there's like there's two there's two parts to it, too, because it's like I've been singing about so much about his love for us, mm -hmm. that we are loved, that we that it's OK to to be loved. Like it's OK to to understand that, like God loves us and likes us and we can, yeah. too. We yeah. can love and like ourselves. It's OK. Uh -huh. But also he, like he can do so much with somebody that's living mm -hmm. like their love. Yeah. And if like if I think about little me you know yeah. like especially 15 six year old me in front of a microphone mm -hmm. and like if I if you know and every everybody's a teenager at one point and that's uh, very confusing you know bless. to, yeah. to uh -huh. understand you know anything <laughs> like is, is that an big anything that big yes exactly yeah. um but um just I I love to just kind of tell her like like you you can live mm. like you are loved like there's so much freedom there's so much you don't have to um, go through or be part of if you just knew how loved you were, yeah. you know, and he wants, yeah, he wants wholeness yeah. for you. He doesn't want us to be like, you know, pulling at ourselves all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for the music. <laughs> thank you thank for you. coming back. I know that there probably was things in your head and obstacles to overcome. I'm like, ah, <laughs> do I want to do this? But mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. For overcoming the obstacles to give us those moments and those mm -hmm. gifts. Each thank song. So yeah. We can't wait, wait for the next one. Is there like things to tease? Yeah. Ugh. Not officially, but we okay. are very much writing a bunch of stuff. Unofficially? Yeah, okay. very unofficially writing things. <laughs>